welcome or welcome back. Today, I would like to make this kind of a special video and I would like to celebrate having 500 subscribers. <laughs> this is a milestone I honestly didn't think I would meet. Um, it's kind of exciting. <laughs> Being an art YouTuber was something that I've wanted to do since way back years and years and years ago. I think I started off watching probably Danica Sills and um, Drawing with Waffles and I just always wanted to be able to share what I create and if it inspires some people or if some people kind of enjoy watching me make things and that's great. <laughs> so I want to thank everybody for being here. This has been a lot of fun um, and let's just see where we can go. But I thought that for the celebration today we could sketch some things from videos that I've done before. So just a little, like a little nod to the things that have allowed me to have my 500 subscribers. And I really appreciate all of you so much, so much. <laughs> I'm gonna start out by sketching some things. Actually, just to save time, I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna go on and sketch out a bunch of stuff and then we'll come back and color it in. One of the things I was most excited to start doing on my channel was the Make It Mini series. I really wanted to try them, but I could just never find them. And then I finally found them and I thought, wow, I could really share this with people. Maybe they're like me and they haven't been able to find them. And while they're not my most popular videos on my channel, granted, I'm still growing, so that's fine. Um, they're one of my favorites to make. And I just feel like I'm always going to make them because they make me happy. And I still have quite a few that have been stockpiled of different series I haven't tried yet that I really want to try. And I think it's really important to remember that no matter what you're doing, you need to take time to do things you enjoy. So sure, they're not my most popular things, but I really like them. So <laughs> I'm probably not going to stop doing them anytime soon. Could I stop at some point? Yeah, maybe, but it's not now. As much as I wanted to take advantage of the natural light, <laughs> I had to relocate. I highly recommend, I got this from Dollar Tree. It's a little recycle bin. I leave it here for pencil sharpenings, pencil sharpenings, pencil shavings. So when I'm done, I just empty it into my recycle bin. Ta -da! And then I just go trash that because I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm, I get very, I'm not going to say I'm lazy because I'm not, but I get very overwhelmed by things easily. So now when this is full, I can just go trash it instead of making lots of mini runs. So this is my little nod to the Miniverse series that I honestly have so much fun with. Next I would like to do this little moth here. I did the moth because like I just draw a lot of moths in general. But also one of my, well it was my first thrift flip video. We made this little box that I keep my whole line in.
Okay, and then the original I had outlined in this very beautiful color. It's a very bright blue. I don't know how this is gonna go. And this is honestly so cute, I'm afraid to like goof it up, but we're gonna try because that's what I did. And I think it was really cute, so let's try. Okay, so do I love that? Absolutely not. But we're gonna roll with it because it's a sketchbook. I say that and then I'm going to immediately erase this blue. <laughs> Seal, unacceptable. And then over here, I've got the actual box. I'm not going to do them exact because I want to have more color than just white. Actually, you know what? I think I want to use a little bit of line art. But let's do it in blue because everything else is in blue. Will I regret this? Maybe. We'll see. So then, ooh, let's use the gold, the gold glittery. Oh, it's everywhere, that's fine. Here, because I did a very pearlescent gold paint on the box. This their flip video was so much fun. It's something that I had wanted to do for a long time. Having this channel has really given me a lot of confidence in just stepping outside of my comfort zone and trying new things because I know a lot of people fall into that as well and it's just easy to write stuff off as too hard or too scary. But if I have fun and maybe I fail, which <laughs> let's be honest, I do a lot. As long as I have fun, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so the next one is kind of an old throwback. A long time ago. I started making videos on my channel and then I stopped for a little while. I got overwhelmed. But I'd wanted to try to make some clay pins or just some things out of clay in general for a good long while. And I was just, I don't know, I put it off and I was afraid, but being able to share that made it less scary. I don't think that's really showing up at all. Maybe a little. Next, we've got a little fish and I, <laughs> I've put a lot of fish in my sketchbooks here lately. One of my favorite spreads from the last sketchbook that I got to post a sketchbook tour of was some goofy little fish. So this was celebrate my sketchbook tours. To have fun and make things you don't have to worry about are all of your lines perfect does everything look all super nice and tidy i mean if that's the only way you like art then sure worry about it but it's also good to embrace mistakes i guess So this sketch is going to pay homage to punch needling and I found punch needling. Here's <laughs> the actual, wow, 
That's actually pretty close. Good job, me. It's incredibly relaxing. I don't do it enough. I haven't done it in a minute. I do get on these kicks though, where when I start making them, I start, or I do start punch needling. I just make presents for all of my friends. <laughs> I've made some coasters and they are so cute. I have some in my shop, but punch needle has been a very relaxing thing for me to do. I really don't want to have to do the outline again, so I'm going to try really hard to leave the outline. <laughs> the purple is kind of a dark purple. Would it be kind of cool if we did a highlight up here? Oh, here. <laughs> oh, yeah, it would be kind of cool. Okay, cool. I think it's pretty close. We may as well keep rolling with the yellows. And let's go on and do Georgie. So, Georgie will represent how probably most people found my channel. I don't think anything had, like, a lot of views up until I did an unboxing Mariah Elizabeth's uh, plushie videos, the mystery boxes. And I am very thankful for the traction that that video brought me. I don't know that I would have got to 500 so soon without it. So I am very thankful for those videos doing as well as they did. And I just feel like it would be rude of me to not acknowledge where quite a bit of my success I think so far has come from. I don't know that I have a color pencil the color I'm wanting for this. That's definitely not it. But could we make it work? You know what, we're rolling with it. And there's just a cute little Georgie. Another kind of older video that I made was painting on little terracotta pots. And I had so much fun with that video. One of my favorite ones had little eggs on it. No fried eggs. I'd like to do something like this again. It kind of fits in with like my thrift flip videos. While sure, uh, it's not like a thrifting item, it is something that I'm turning in, like giving new life. Next would be something very dear to me. Um, it's what I'm using now is my Artex markers. And this honestly was wild to me. It was the first uh, brand to reach out to me to do any type of review for the product, so they sent me their markers so I could try them out. But that was just so cool. Because I never thought something like that would happen. And I never thought, well, at least right now. And that video did pretty well, so I'm glad. And I hope you can see that like I, I still use them <laughs> past the review. Um, every time I go to sketch, especially if I'm just wanting to have fun and just like something quick, I grab them first, like with this video. But they're just so much fun to use and I really, really like them. So while maybe not the most exciting thing to sketch, um, maybe one of the more meaningful things to me. And for this one, I just wanted to thank you. I wanted to thank every one of you for being here. Even if you're not a subscriber and you're still watching this video, thank you. Being able to make this channel and being able 
to put my art out there has meant so much to me. And I never in my wildest dreams <laughs> thought people were actually going to watch my videos. I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you. And I really appreciate everybody who takes the time out to leave a comment because it's it means a lot to me, honestly. It really does. I added a couple little flourishes of red and pink just around to tie everything together and ta-da! Thank you again for 500 subscribers. This has meant the world to me. I am so excited to see what else I can accomplish and what else I can share with you all here. If there's anything or any type of crafting or any type of art that you'd like to see, leave me a comment and let me know. I have so many things lined up that I don't know what to do first. <laughs> so maybe if it's in the comment, I'll push it higher to the top of the list. Um, also, let me know which one of these doodles is your favorite or which one of my past videos was your favorite. I honestly think that doing the box was possibly my favorite video. I do have some more things for another thrift flip video. If you've made it this far, you've obviously had at least a little bit of fun. So it would be super cool if you could give this video a like. You can also subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell while you're there for notifications. That way you know every time I make an upload and then maybe we can sketch together again. Or maybe we can do something completely different entirely. But you won't know unless you're here. <laughs> Thanks again for being here. This really does mean the world to me and thank you so much for 500 subscribers. I love every one of you. Thank you so much. But with that, I'll see you next time. Bye.